Hey everybody, back in 2021, I got an email and it read, Dear Corey, my name is Eli. I'm seven years old. I like to garden with my grandma and my grandpa. My favorite flower is the Calabracoa. I love your videos. You should tell people that Calabracoa are going to be very popular this year. Keep making videos. Thank you, Eli. A seven-year-old who knew what a Calabracoa was, I needed to meet this kid. So we had him over and we gave him a VIP tour of Netta's and he had picked his very favorite plant for that year, which of course was a Calabracoa. And then uh, later on in the season, uh, he had me over to his grandparents' house and he showed me all the different plants that he takes care of there. And so that was a lot of fun. The kid is very good with plants. Afterwards, we sat down and we had lemonade and we talked about plants and dinosaurs. And uh, then we made plans for what kind of plants he thought were gonna be big for the following year. So he gave me some advice there. And then last year, he came by and his pick was the Prince Tut grass. That was his pick for the uh, main plant for, for last year. Well, yesterday he came by again and he has made his picks for 2023. So here's a look at what Eli has picked for this season. Hey everybody, today I'm with gardener extraordinaire Eli and he has picked out some of his absolute favorite plants for this year. And I have to warn you, last time Eli picked his favorites, uh, they sold out pretty quick. So, Eli, I'm gonna point to different plants and you tell me exactly why you picked that one. So let's start with this one. This is one of your honorable mentions, right? Um, this one? Yeah, we'll start with that one. Why I picked the Caladium is, this just, I really like the, the red and the green, but it really looks good with other plants. Oh, does it? So it mixes really well? What about yeah. this one? This one you kinda went to. Is this an honorable mention or is this a, four, a five star? Well, a high score, but not enough to be in the honorable mentions. Oh, so it's just behind honorable mention. Yes. Okay. And what, what do you like about that one? I just really like the leaves. Yeah. yeah that one's called fishbone, and I guess they kind of look like fishbones, don't they? Yeah. And then, what one do you want to talk about next? This one, Queen Tut. What do you like about her? It's, uh, I just really, it's not really what you'd find in a normal grass. Yeah, and it has those little kind of puff balls, and those puff yeah. balls end up being really like kind of unusual, uh, and they it gets a lot of them, and it gets a nice dome of them. So I think as yeah. the season goes on, you're gonna like it even more. Yeah. Should we talk about this other big one? Yeah, elephant ears. Yeah, that's the Colocasia illustris. Why'd you pick this one? Probably because I really like uh, the black or the purple on it. Mm-hmm. So you like the darker, rich leaf on it? Yeah. Yeah. So, and that is an unusual leaf. You don't usually see a leaf that dark on any of the plants, yeah. do you? Yeah. Okay, what about this one? Now, this one's not flowering right now, but. Uh, why I picked this one is I think the flower would, ver uh, would look very nice on it. And I like that it has that little bit of, see that purple little cast in there? Yeah. In the eye? I think it'd look good with the leaves. Yeah. Would you plant it with anything else? Probably with the Queen Tut. Oh, that would look really good together. They'd both see? be kind of tall, so that would be kind of nice. Let's yeah. see, should we talk about this one? Yeah, I picked, is this the apricot one? No, this one is the Portofino Hot Orange. I really picked this one because it has my favorite color on it, uh, orange. With, orange, and then it has the dark leaf that you like too. Yes. So, uh, but the other one you were talking about was the apricot. Why'd you go with apricot? The apricot, I just really, it, it has my favorite color in it. Uh-huh. And I just really like the I just really like the feel to the fruit. Yeah. It has it has a really nice kind of look to it. And this yeah. goes, you know, this looks good with like there's a um coleus called Sunset Boulevard. It looks really good with that because it's got peachy leaves. So that's an option there. Yeah. Okay, so should we talk about Calabricoa or Petunias next? Calabricoa. Okay. Which one do you want to start with? That one there. So this one is called Iconic Apricot. Why do you like this one? And for the same reason I like this one. You like this color. Yeah. But it, this one's unique because yeah. what, what color would you say the inside is? It's a burgundy. Yeah. Kind of uh, burgundy slash pink. Yeah. It's really it's it really makes it stand out. It makes that kind of orange outside yeah. kind of like glow a little bit, doesn't it? Let's see. Here's another Caliber Cola. This one you put on your honorable mention list. What yeah. One, this one's called Illusion. What do you like about that one? I just really like, I really like it that it's all purple except the center. Yeah, and it has a nice gradient too. Yeah. You know? So, you know, you get... Yeah, and the leaves. 
The leaves are very yeah, nice. Yeah, well, the nice thing about Calabrico leaves is they're not sticky like petunias, so. Yeah. Which brings us to our petunias. This is, well, no, we're saving that one for last, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's the last one. Which one do you want to talk about next? This one? The mega one. I like, uh, I like it because it's burgundy which would be an honorable mention for my colors list. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's got a real intense kind yeah. of purple burgundy. Yeah, the and throat it, especially is burgundy. Yeah, and it's very big. This is one of the biggest petunias out there, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost the size of my hand. It really is. Put your hand up. Yep, definitely. Okay, so which one? what's the next petunia we should talk about? This one? What do you like about this one? This is the Super Cal Premium White Pearl. Like, I like it that it's white with yellow in it. Yeah, it does have that little bit of yellow. Yeah. And, and then it actually, when you kind of move it, it kind of shimmers a little bit too. Yeah. It's really nice with that. Yeah. I like that. What about this one? This is one of the first ones you noticed, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It's just very good. It's, I really like the stripes. Yeah, and they kind of go across the whole thing. And this one, if you can see, it has that nice little kind of flower shape to it too. Yeah. yeah. That's a great one. And then it's getting a little warm in here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what about this one? This is the Super Cal Orange Sunset. I just really think the colors look good and with other plants like the Caladium. Yep, it would look good there. It would look good there. It would look good over here. Oh, look at it with there. Yeah. Yeah, it, mix, it mixes really well. Yeah. And this actually gets a more intense orange later on in the season. Our grand finale. Yeah. Blanket Silver Surprise. Why'd you pick this one? It has multiple colors for one plant. So you can get, you'll get all the colors. Yeah. But it's on one plant. So look at, I like, look at it has stripes. So it has kind of that white. Yeah. It has that intense kind of magenta purple. It has, they call that silver. I call it a little bit more like a light lilac. And then they yeah. have, some of them are solid. There's a solid one over here. Some of them are yeah. splotchy. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. This is your number one pick, huh? Yes. There. He that one's it. probably going <laughs> to sell out like in five seconds. I bet I bet it will and because it's so unusual. There's none like that. Yeah. There's no other one like that. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You guys, you heard it from Eli first. We'll see you. Bye. <laughs> now, before Eli left, he did spot one more plant that he wanted added to his favorites list, and it's this one right here. Uh, no surprise, it's orange. It is an orange geranium called Brocade Fire Night. And he not only liked it because of the color, and this is the first bloom, so it does get bigger flower heads on it as it goes, uh, gets a little bit more mature, but he thought the leaves were really incredible. They reminded him of a lily pad, which took him back to a trip to uh, one of the water parks where they had a lily pad ride or, so, or something associated with lily pads there. And he just loved how it had the dark center and then that nice light rim around it. So very interesting geranium. So leave it to Eli to be able to find all the cool stuff. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this little visit with Eli. Uh, he will be back. I know he will. And uh, we always look forward to finding out what his picks are for favorites because the kid has pretty good taste.